How else can we do the hyacinth aroma without water? Don't hide Maybe you can pull that aroma out of it. In alcohol? In whatever, but you Like can vodka and missed it. a bunch of hyacinth flowers? Yeah, as long as they're not drinking it. That's what... Wow. A hyacinth candle? <clears throat> That'd be cool. There's something about at night, like, when you light a candle or you go to a restaurant that has a candle on the table next to the wine glass and the way it looks, I think that the dark table and that with something lit it kind of like right you know we could do too is if we were making our own candles we could embed ice and flowers in mm -hmm. the candle mm -hmm. make it look really beautiful but it would have to smell perfect yeah like you can go to those candle making websites and get they have smell of spring mm -hmm. so maybe we buy a couple of those maybe it's a tiny bit of that with our own distillation of ice and there's no way you're going to be able to get the liquid to set in the wax. Yeah. Without yeah. it popping. Or you could even put the water in the wax and just heat them together and mix them around. It's cool so it'll separate, right? right? You take the wax off the top. We could almost oh, make yeah, like... You see if they have some really strong hyacinths in the shop. They do. Have them set a couple lunches over. We'll try to distill some and we'll take some, strip the petals off, throw them right in the wax in a CV bag, bring the wax up to like 100 and... Maybe lighter. You have lilac. How fragrant is that? We've used lilac. I'm just, I'm just curious how fragrant the stuff that you have is. If it's pretty fragrant, we'll take a little bit to try. We're gonna try making a candle out of it. Hey Martin, here's a, here's a. A new service piece idea for you. Basically, a, a aromatic centerpiece. So, in the glass bowl, um, ice infused with flowers goes down at the at the beginning of the meal. Some type of votive or heat source is underneath that slowly melts the ice, kind of signifying the thaw of spring. And then, when the water heats up, the floral aroma becomes more apparent. So, There's a basic test mold. Okay. When you when it actually solidifies, you might you know there'll be vacuum in there, so you might need to be worked. The only thing is the you know getting stuff out of it. If it's too if the ice is breaking. Okay. You know obviously I got the pattern out of it, so it's. It, what about pouring alcohol into it and lighting that instead, of, like a candle? I don't know. I think that might be interesting to you know not use a candle. Right. But, so what what do you what do you think about? What the ice would be sitting on, as far as like that. I feel like. Then I was thinking maybe you could do something really basic, like um, shrink wrap, a rubber band. Around you know, it. Basically, yeah, just around the ice. Okay. So there's no real vessel, you know. So there's no tray. Right. Instead of trying to do a rigid vessel that would hold mm -hmm. the ice. It's trying no, to that'd be cool. Visually light. Right. You know, We'll fill it. We'll fill it and get it frozen. Yeah. Right. That's it? Yeah. Just fill that bugger with water and get it in the freezer. Cool. I don't like the shape at all. It's ugly. You don't like the shape? No. Let's do something at my grandma's house. You get close and you get it. Sure. Don't even worry about the scale. You can make the mold any yeah. size and shape that we want. Yeah, this is modern and it's conceptual. When the thing first comes out, it's all frosty, and now as it warms up, it's starting to get clear, like there's a transformation, blah, blah, blah. Way more conceptual, way more abstract than having, you know, a big bowl full of stones yeah. with fake snow sprinkled over it. I'm thinking like National Ge Geographic, Yellowstone Park, it's the frosting up on the mountains. This to me is like a pop in the sun. Yeah, how literal do you feel that you have to be? Do people get more enjoyment out of figuring something out? Winter is thawing into spring, but in a modern aesthetic? Or do you really want to bring organic 
natural elements and put them on the table. I'm not saying your way is wrong because the tomato and the dirt was exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. See, I like that too, though. Yeah. But I mean, obviously, there would have to be like a culminating moment of this is where it matches. Right. Like, it has to be like a. Yeah, there has to be a moment where. A defining moment. Even if it was something where, like, you drank the shot or something like that. What if it is a centerpiece you drink? Yeah. Yeah. That would be great. But again, how do you get it to climax and tie into the dish? Or would it not? Would you not be searching for a room at that point? Like, they're Hey, Martin. I got you on a speaker phone. Okay. So we're having an in-depth conversation here about this. It would be cool if we could collect the water that melted and then serve it as beverage. The problem is we have a couple of different ideas kind of colliding here, right? Yeah, right. It's like, do we want to focus on the aroma? Do we even want aroma at all? Do we want to just take the concept of melting ice and have it become consumable at some point? I guess that's what we need to figure out conceptually. Glasses that, that would work. Like I spent like half a day looking online at really? glasses and I didn't really find anything. I feel it needs to close in. That way? Yeah. Really? Because then you get the, you know, so, glass to effect? Right, so it breaks back out unless you pour it through a filter, like a coffee filter. Or a tea strainer. How about making a clip that would be a base for this? Yep. So it's self supporting? We would just have to be careful of the diameter of our branches coming out so they wouldn't right. exceed the perimeter right. of the... Yeah. It would definitely make the splashes into the glass more dramatic. Right. Because yeah. then you, you wouldn't have the contact there. Right. It's just fine. Where did this come from? Looking at it. Okay. I, I think I left everything at the restaurant, didn't I? Yeah, I'm a little cool. worried about like just keep trying things, because man, it smells good. But well, it, it might be able to just like kind of sustain itself. Mm -hmm. I, if I like, I think I can actually work out the clip where it's gonna work fairly well. You know, where there was heat applied, because mm -hmm. it just doesn't hold. Right now, I'm just going to push up that. Right now, I'm just going to push up that. Right now, I'm just going to push up that. Right now, I'm just going to push up that. 